can't take that back, even if she wanted to. This could be a unique opportunity for the both of you. Couldn't be further from the truth. I'm gonna do everything in my power to make it happen. I have never been more serious about anything in my entire life. You go after Ava, you lose Avery. General Hospital latest update. Sunny and Ava's fierce showdown could have explosive results, with Ava plotting to push Sunny over the edge. Jason faces intense scrutiny, while Jake shares big news. Plus, Heather's surprise move in Drew's campaign kickoff promise drama and intrigue. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, after watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. General Hospital, Sunny and Ava's fierce face-off, Jason grilled, Jake's big news and Heather's surprise. General Hospital spoilers for the next two weeks, July 8th to July 19th, reveal that Drew Cordemain, Cameron Matheson, will officially kick off his campaign for Congress at the Cordemain picnic, so he'll get praise from all his supporters. When Nina Reeves, Cynthia Watrose, walks in the door, Tracy Cordemain, Jane Elliott, will question who invited her and obviously won't be pleased that she's been included. However, Drew may insist he invited Nina and reveal that she's helping out with his campaign as the week of July 8th to 12th gets underway. Nina will also open up to Sasha Gilmore Corbin, Sophia Matson, which should bring an admission about her strange relationship with Drew. Sasha will worry about Nina's deception since she's still deceiving Willow Corinthos, Caitlin McMullen, and resorting to manipulation. As for Willow, she'll make an impulsive decision, so it'll be interesting to see what kind of move she makes. Sasha will eventually spot something scandalous, so could that involve a crossed line between Willow and Drew? Of course, it's also possible that Sasha will simply spot Drew and Nina making out. Although Nina will seemingly give Sasha the heads up on her sizzling Drew connection beforehand, it could still be a shock seeing the pair in action. Next, Laura Collins, Jeannie Francis, will face Portia Robinson's, Brooke Kerr, wrath over her attempt to get Heather Weber's, Ally Mills, case reopened. Portia may warn that if Heather goes free and commits more crimes, Laura will only have herself to blame. Curtis Ashford, Donnell Turner, will also rush to his own defense during a conversation with Portia, so that could involve defending his recent Pennonville visit. Although Curtis may think he had to set Heather straight, Portia may disapprove of how he handled it. It turns out Portia will come up with a plan of her own, which will probably involve an attempt to block Heather's freedom with some legal strategy. Portia will give Jordan Ashford, Tanisha Harper, updates on her tactic, but will Jordan approve? Meanwhile, Heather will have a request that catches Laura off guard. Since Heather feels guilty over the pain her criminal behavior has caused, she may urge Laura to stop trying to help her. Heather told Curtis that she'd push Laura to back off, so it looks like that's what Heather will do. Even so, Laura may think Heather deserves another chance at justice due to the cobalt poisoning and push her to take advantage of it. Laura will eventually turn to Trina and get her point of view. Trina was previously against Heather's case being revisited, but could she start to change her mind about that? Other General Hospital spoilers say Cody Bell, Josh Kelly, may resolve to confess to Max Scorpio, John J. York, after a crucial conversation with James West, Gary James Fuller. Will Cody tell Mac the truth about his paternity and reveal that they have a father-son link after all? Regardless, Willow will bond with Cody over some things they have in common, so that could involve a chat about complicated parental dilemmas. Later, Felicia Scorpio, Christina Wagner, will pay Cody a visit as well, so she may do her part to help Cody and Mac connect. In the meantime, Lois Cerullo, Rena Sofer, will spill a secret with Olivia Cordemain, Lisa Lo Cicero, so that may be related to Hamilton Finn's, Michael Easton, rehab stint and the truth behind Violet Finn's, Jophiel Love, Cordemain Mansion Stay. As for Maxie Jones, Kirsten Storms, she'll be on a mission, presumably one to help Blaze aka Allison Ali Rogers, Jacqueline Grace Lopez, whether the storm she's facing. Christina Corinthos Davis, Kate Monsi, will also try to lift Blaze's spirits, but Blaze is definitely going to struggle now that her label has dropped her. Across town, Sonny Corinthos, Maurice Bernard, will put Jason Morgan, Steve Burton, through a grilling session while Ava Jerome, Maura West, plots a move that's incredibly risky. Sonny is already on weakened meds, but could Ava try to switch his pills for total placebos and cause him to spiral out of control even more? 
Ava needs Sonny to melt down publicly and prove he's too unstable to care for Avery Corinthos, Ava and Grace Scarola, so she'll do whatever she can to make that happen. Sonny and Ava will eventually have a fierce face-off, so you can bet he'll let her have it over Natalia Ramirez's, Eva LaRue, leaked recording and all the fallout. On a happier note, Jake Weber, Hudson West, will have some amazing news to celebrate, so Elizabeth Baldwin, Rebecca Herbst, will be proud of him and will likely fill Jason Morgan, Steve Burton, in some big accomplishment. However, Jason will still have some drama to contend with. John Jagger Cates, Adam J. Harrington, will spend some time eavesdropping and could potentially gain more leverage to use against Jason. Plus, Jason will have to fret over Anna Devane's, Fanola Hughes, plan to steal Valentine Cassidine's, James Patrick Stewart, satellite phone. Anna's judgment could be clouded by her lingering love for Valentine, so Jason will have reasons to fear this scheme may not go off without a hitch. During the week of July 15th to 19th, Jason will monitor the Anna situation closely and may intervene if this Valentine takedown operation takes a troubling turn. Back with Sonny and Ava, their determination to destroy each other could lead to some shocking consequences on both sides. Finally, the show will keep inching closer to Christina's due date. Christina's baby is supposed to arrive in August, but could early labor be on the horizon? General Hospital spoilers say the next two weeks will bring some highs and lows, so stick with us for more predictions on all the surprises, both good and bad. Today's next update, Sunny lands in Pendenville or Ferncliff. General Hospital predictions wonder if Sunny Corinthos will end up behind bars in Pendenville or locked up in Ferncliff. Indeed, things are not looking good for the mob boss on the ABC soap opera. Sunny Corinthos getting worse on General Hospital. Currently, on General Hospital, Sonny Corinthos' mental health is rapidly declining. It certainly didn't help matters when it came out that Nina Reeves was the sec rat. Then, Jason Morgan came back from the dead with the shocker that he's an FBI informant. So, Sonny feels that almost everyone is a traitor. However, the real trouble started when Valentine Cassidine tampered with Sonny's bipolar medication. That's when he started to really go off the rails, and those close to him were starting to worry. Then, Ava Jerome got involved and made things worse. She found out that the dosage of Sunny's meds was far lower than they were supposed to be. So, they weren't working properly. Now, Ava is using that against Sunny on General Hospital. Sunny wants to get full custody of their daughter, Avery Corinthos. But, of course, Ava cannot let that happen. She knows Sonny's not in his right mind. So, she plans to push him so far that he has a breakdown in public. While she schemes, Valentine is ready to give the Kingpin one last push that could land him in prison on General Hospital. Kingpin off to Pennonville on General Hospital? Valentine Cassidine, James Patrick Stewart, needs Sonny Corinthos, Maurice Bernard, out of his way because he's interfering with his pikeman business. That's why he's messing with his meds, to get him paranoid and erratic. But, recently on General Hospital, he said he's going to give him one final shove that will push him over the edge. Chances are, Valentine's next move could send Sonny to prison. He already carried out one plan. That was to kill Jason Morgan, Steve Burton, and frame Sonny for it so he went to jail. Clearly, that didn't work so he has to come up with something bigger and better to put Sonny away. However, he may not need to because Ava Jerome, Mora West, might beat him to the punch. General Hospital prediction, Ava gets Sunny thrown in Ferncliff? Currently, Ava's ready to do whatever is necessary to stop Sunny from taking Avery Corinthos, Scarilla twins, away from her. She knows he is not on the right medication. So, her plan of attack is to make him spiral out in public and ruin his chances of getting custody. It looks like it works because next week, on General Hospital, they have a big blowout. No doubt, she gets Sonny so furious that he isn't thinking clearly and spirals out of control. Currently, if he gets angry enough, he acts without thinking. Much like his attack on Dex Heller, Evan Hofer, at the Echallen wedding on General Hospital. So, if Ava pushes him far enough, which she will, he could go crazy. He might even attack her. If so, he could wind up in handcuffs. But, on the other hand, if he's mentally unstable, which he is, he may be put in Ferncliff Asylum for the criminally insane. 
Indeed, he's a criminal, and right now, he's not mentally stable. So, the authorities may feel that's the best place for him. Surely, Ava and Valentine don't care where he ends up, as long as the kingpin is not around to cause problems for them. The only question is, which one of them will get to him first? General Hospital will keep you guessing. Watch daily to see if mobster Sonny Corinthos does time in prison or is sent to Fermcliff on the ABC daytime drama. Thanks for watching this videos, please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.